really came through the accommodation this time, Professor. Much better than that shithole in Auckland. Just make sure you clean up after yourself. The house belongs to a former colleague of mine. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. I was hoping you can cover up my taxi fares. It's a long way to the city from here. You have no reason to go to the city, Dominic. I implore you to conduct research, not sample the local nightlife. I need time off, Professor, just like you. That would be fine if you actually did some work. Now, I need you to be focused. Have you found anything more since we last spoke? Okay. I'm picking up more interference here than anywhere else, but still nothing to suggest a transmission. It just looks like noise. Maybe if I had better equipment. That's not an option. We need to keep a low profile. I know. I'm just saying, hacking communication satellites isn't exactly the most efficient way to analyze signals from space. Their dishes aren't even pointing in the right direction. Just stay there and keep analyzing the signal. Whatever. As long as you keep paying my travel expenses, I'm happy. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Just let me know the moment you find something. Sure thing, boss. you're here for? How do you know I'm not a local? You got that look about you. What look? You know, kind of superior, but a bit lost. Like, you think you're gonna get kicked out for wearing the wrong clothes. That's all true, <laughs> except for the superior part. That's not me at all. Oh, really? Are you here with friends? No, I'm kind of here on business. I'm a private contractor, just doing some research. Private contractor. What are you like at Hitman? <laughs> no, I'm working for a university called MIT, United States. I'm studying radio transmissions. Why would you be studying radio transmissions? Well, they're not ordinary transmissions. They're from space. I think. <laughs> what? Wow. Like from another planet? Look, it's probably just background radiation, but uh, the guys paying me seem to think otherwise, so here I am. Well, there are worse places you could be stuck doing research. Yeah. You know, I had my doubts at first, but I think I'm starting to like this place. Yeah, it has that effect on people. You better be careful, or you might understand it. Is that right? Hi, my name's Natalie. I'm Dom. Nice to meet you, Natalie. So, I guess I'll see you later then. No, you're coming in for more drinks. I am? Keep the change. Hey. Morning. I thought you'd run off on me. I was going to, but the pool looks so nice. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Hmm. I hope you're not planning on working all weekend. Why not? Because we're going on a trip. A trip? How long are we going for exactly? Just a couple of days. Alright.
So what? Year for research or something like that. Dom, you're a scientist, I hear. Aren't you like a private contractor? Yeah, I'm working for a physics professor from MIT. Oh, I still reckon it sounds suspicious. Mm, like, why would a physics professor hire a contractor to do his research? I mean, wouldn't he have students who could do that for him? I think um, he's really a hitman and he hasn't got his cover story straight. <laughs> okay, you want the truth? <laughs> yes, please. All right, a few years ago, after finishing my undergrad, I got a scholarship to study at MIT. I still don't know how I did it. I spent most of my undergrad either drunk or high, or both. Anyway, two years ago I was in my final year and I was sure I was gonna fail. So I hacked into the university's computer system and tried to change my grade. I got caught and they kicked me out. Turned out I was actually gonna pass. Wait, so this professor guy, he used to be a lecturer? Yeah, and this thing he's studying, this signal from space, he thinks it might be alien. <laughs> Mate, no, you can't be serious. Well, he doesn't know for sure, and until he has proof, he doesn't want his colleagues finding out. So we need someone to conduct research for him in secret. Someone who knows a little bit about physics and can hack into computers. Well, don't worry. I mean, your secret's safe with us. <laughs> uh, I still think it's bullshit anyway. No way! Aliens are out there, man! Yeah, my uncle's seen a mountain humpty do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's out there, but I'm getting paid good money to travel the world, so can't complain. Yeah, why would you, mate? Cheers for that. Cheers. Hey guys, wake up! We gotta go back. Now. Oh my god. Is this real? What is that? Hey! Here it comes! We serve the city, trust me. I'm fucking panicking. Yeah, I'm panicking too, alright. Just shut up and hold on, okay? So we're okay. We're okay. It's behind us now. What is it? There's too much to decipher, but I think the ship's communicating with someone. Communicating with what? Are there more coming? No, no, it's inside. There's something inside the ship. What? What the fuck is that thing? There's some kind of command signal coming from the mothership. It's trying to code it. Can you stop it? I don't know. I can try. Better hurry there, boy. He's got his attention. Guys, 
I've known you all. I have to shut it down now! Shut down, man! My five hundred feet in the air! This might be our last chance! I did this for a group of activists during my undergrad. It crashed the university's main server. Some music, a few pieces of software, my entire home movie collection. It could be like trying to chuck too much beer at a frat party. It's working! It's working! <laughs> Buddy? You know, I, I didn't think that would work. Mate, your computer skills, my driving, awesome. Nothing can stop us. I think they might. Shit, I think I pissed them off. Nice one, mate. How long is this highway? 